Stan Jabalisco here. Uh, I've already talked about how you can use an ohmmeter to test an NPN bipolar transistor. Now I would like to talk about the PNP device and how you can use the same ohmmeter to test it. Again with your ohmmeter there are a couple of caveats. First of all you need to be sure that when you use an ohmmeter it, when it produces electricity at the leads, the red and the black wires, that that electricity be such that it be enough to overcome the forward breakover voltage at the PN junctions inside of this transistor or any PN junction. And seeing as most transistors these days are silicon devices, silicon. The forward breakover voltage is typically on the order of six tenths of a volt. If this meter in the ohmmeter mode does not produce at least six tenths of a volt, then it's not going to work for any of these sorts of tests. The second thing you need to be sure about with a meter like this is that you know which lead produces the negative electricity and which lead produces the positive electricity. Now first of all I found that my digital ohmmeter will not produce the requisite six tenths of a volt to provide meaningful results in a test like this. So I had to use my older analog meter. When I checked that meter and you should always test these things whether you think you need to or not I found that the positive pole of the electricity that it produces appears at the black wire the probe with the black wire and the negative electricity appears at the probe with the with the red wire so that this is like a little battery with a negative terminal here connected to a red wire and a positive terminal here connected to a black wire. So electrons will emerge from the negative and enter the positive. And when I talk about current from now on, I'm going to be referring to the flow of electrons. So current goes from minus to plus in these discussions, not the other way around as some physicists would have it and some uh, hardcore theoretical engineers would, ha would have it. So you have your PNP transistor and you have your ohmmeter and you want to conduct the tests. You can find out whether this transistor is burned out or not, at least basically, by connecting the two leads of this ohmmeter to the three leads of the transistor in all six possible ways. And here are the results that you should get. When you connect the negative lead to the base and the positive lead to the emitter in a PNP transistor, you should see current flow because electrons can flow through this PN junction against the arrow when you connect the uh, when you when you reverse that polarity well isn't that pretty when you reverse that polarity what you should see then is no current flow if you connect the minus here and the plus here electrons cannot flow with this arrow so you should see infinity ohms in the forward direction you should see some value of ohms I see typically 40 to 50 ohms but it's really not very important different meters will give you different readings and they don't really mean anything as long as they're finite and fairly limited it's either has some ohms like finite number of ohms like this or infinitely many ohms so you should see current flow this way but not that way similarly you should see current flow this way. So if you connect the negative lead of your ohmmeter to the base and the positive lead to the collector, you should see electrons flow that way. But if you reverse them and connect the negative lead, uh, the negative voltage lead of your ohmmeter to the 
to the collector and the positive voltage to the base, then you will not see conduction. Now when it comes to conduction between the emitter and the collector, because this transistor is not connected to anything, it's not being forward biased, so it cannot conduct as a forward biased transistor would. It is cut off when it just sits there like this. You should not see current in either direction. If your results do not agree with what I've just told you, chances are excellent that your PNP bipolar transistor is burned out. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.